Hello, welcome back. In our last lecture, we have used Selenium RC to develop our client. And in this video, we are going to use Selenium WebDriver API to build our client. We are going to the Selenium IDE and then open up Flight Search script and go to File, go to Export Test Case Arch, then click on Java JUnit4 WebDriver. So this is basically going to ask you how to, where to export the default script. So in this case, save it in flight search web wd.java. And if I open this thing using notepad, this is the web driver client. Okay. So let's copy this thing and then open up our Eclipse and then I'm going to put it here. This is not going to compile because the class name is flight search wd whereas the file name is web driver demo. I need to change the class name so that it will be web driver demo and one more thing that I need to fix since I didn't use any package structure so therefore there is no reason to give any package name here these are the two changes that you need to do to the default generated script let's run this program and see what is going on all right so basically what has happened now is open up the Firefox browser and now the client program is driving this thing okay put those parameters whatever we give in like like uh, the the original destination city the num the dates and all and then finally it is going to find out what is the lowest price so the lowest price currently is showing up is 262.40 so let's do a quick uh, code walkthrough we declare a a object called driver and this driver is of web driver interface and then we uh, declare a couple of more variable and those are base URL and and verification error which is of string buffer class and since this is using JUnit framework so therefore the first thing we're going to do we are going to execute setup so when setup is executed what it does it it create a driver that is a Firefox browser this statement basically opens the Firefox browser and then um, so these are again two assignments next the control goes to here and here what we're doing is that we are getting the base URL so that means the base URL here is orbis.com so essentially what you're doing we are we are we are loading orbis.com in this Firefox browser and if the orbis.com loaded in Firefox browser it's going to look like this okay so it has multiple elements like flights only these are the radio box and then other things right then what we are doing in the next line we are getting the element so basically right now we have this web page okay in this web page what we are trying to do we are finding the element by using xpath location strategy and we are locating the x, the element whose xpath is this and exactly the element whose xpath is this is called flights only and then what we are doing we are doing a click so that is what we are doing here so this is a click so this is exactly the state of the browser after this statement then what we are doing we are finding the element and then the the strategy here is by name and then this is the attribute okay, so basically we are we are finding this element and then what we are doing we are clicking on that so basically this is the we are clicking on this thing then whatever the element whatever we found here we are clearing that thing so how to clear so basically this is equivalent to this thing so at the end of this line our state is looking like this then by using this statement we are typing we are sending keys what we are sending keys we are sending dfw so therefore this is going to be dfw so at the end of this line the execution would be dfw here all right then we are finding another element which is identified by name and this is the attribute and this is essentially this field again we are clicking on this then we are clearing if anything there and then we are sending keys lax the apis are very clean okay so this is what you do like first basically you know you get a hold of your browser you get a hold of a pointer to browser is driver then what you do then you you call the api of that and there's one api called find element and how you find element you can find element by different strategy and that is why you give by dot what if you want to buy xpath then give the xpath if you buy name then give the name or whatever 
okay so this is we are using here either by name or by xpath then whatever elements you got okay in some case i got a uh, radio button in some case i got a text field so so what i do whatever you got you have to do some action on that what is that action in some case i am doing click in some case i am sending keys in some case i am doing get text okay so so that is how this web driver is actually working